Apartheid ended in 1994 in South Africa, but huge disparities remain, and the country has one of the biggest inequities between the rich and the poor. From urban townships to rural areas, the situation for those living in poverty, especially women, is further compounded by the world's highest rate of sexual violence against women and the HIV and AIDS pandemic. Despite these enormous challenges, committed changemakers are everywhere in South Africa. IDEX is proud to support their work that is empowering women, building local economies, and caring for the environment. IDEX provides funding and support for grassroots organizations working in the poorest and most underserved provinces in South Africa, where one in three young women is infected with HIV. Here in the townships around Johannesburg, our grantee Positive Women's Network encourages HIV-positive women to come out and through support groups, they work on practical strategies to get antiretroviral treatment, maintain proper nutrition, and support one another. Community members themselves are trained to lead these groups and start up new ones. So material, people are we started by placing peer educators in the community. Peer educators in the beginning were refusing to give condoms to people. Today, every month I open a box of 6,500 condoms. Before two weeks is over, the box of condoms is gone, meaning that we are touching lives. And now, peer educators are so proud to put their badges, HIV and AIDS peer educator. They don't care whether people think that they are infected or whatever. What they know is that today, if I save one life, then I would have made an impact in the community. In the Western Cape, IDEX grantees are empowering women to tell their stories of sexual abuse, disease, violence, in their own words. A crucial step towards leading empowered lives. <laughs> This is Patricia, a young mother and farm worker who was repeatedly raped and sexually abused. She is speaking publicly for the first time today, and like many women in this workshop, is on her way, with our grantee's assistance, to receive much-needed counseling, legal support, and health services. Alongside Work Empowering Women, IDEX grantees are creating practical solutions to poverty through training in employable skills like weaving, handicraft production, and here in the rural community of Embo, initiatives like Big Mama's Project. This is Deborah. For years, she worked on the factory line at a brushware factory. Frustrated with the low pay and harsh working conditions, she approached one of our grantees with the idea to start her own project. That was a year ago. Today, she and eight of her neighbors produce and sell brushes for road construction sweepers. Where few other economic alternatives exist, Deborah says she has relished the opportunity to teach other women a marketable skill. we believe very strongly that no project can ever be successful without, first of all, the buy-in and secondly, the active participation of communities. Um, and I think this is what distinguishes us from other organizations. These are the types of organizations IDEX supports, those that have shown us that the most lasting solutions to poverty come from local community members themselves. IDEX grantees adapt their programs to the needs of each community. Here in remote KwaZulu-Natal, our grantee Shomali Kusasa is developing skills with rural women. 
This area is an abandoned coffee farm. A group of local women lobbied the owners to let them access the land to cultivate it. So does this land belong to? This land belongs to us now. Okay, yes. beautiful. <laughs> nice. So it's your land yes. to this grow. Is all this is our property. In just nine months, these incredible farmers have turned this land into a place that now feeds and sustains their families and neighbors. Because now we have our own markets that we built down there at Mkatuzana, mm -hmm. so that we can take our food there and, so and make and put it there in our market. And people will know that there is this market yes. which is cheaper than Amaspazas, like the sho our near shops. We, yeah. we make our products uh, quality and be bigger than the shops. So you're able to sell everything? Yes. Sometimes people are left wanting more. Yes. <laughs> Each of IDEX's grantees takes a holistic, integrated approach, like this, to alleviating poverty. In urban areas, grantees are training households and schools in organic and traditional farming methods to grow vegetable gardens low-cost, environmentally friendly alternatives to industrial agriculture. This is real food security. Where the people control their food supply and can protect their environmental resources. With an increase in fresh food, families like Mrs. Tabete are able to eat more nutritious diets and with the income they earn, they can send their children to school. Equipping communities with the skills and tools for long-term change, this is how our grantees end the cycle of poverty. Our grantees remind us that there is no shortage of solutions from the communities themselves. With relatively modest grants to fund this work, IDEX is transforming the traditional and more bureaucratic model of international aid. Together, let us extend our support in building a strong South African civil society, one that can be a source of encouragement and inspiration. <laughs>